Local artist Josh Ford will host his second art show in the city of Youngstown this weekend. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm very excited at the same time. We'll have the details on that and more in our After Hours report. The After Hours report is brought to you by Live Nation. This Saturday, starting at 7 p.m., local abstract artist Josh Ford will host an art show at the gallery at 8 North Phelps Street in Youngstown. It's going to be my second art show in the city of Youngstown. It's going to be an open house event. It's completely free. I'm actually going to toss some of my pieces into that show that never been seen before. And I feel that some of these pieces I'm tossing in this particular art show is perfect for Youngstown and Warren focusing a lot on some of the issues that Youngstown and Warren has. Ford also just opened up his own t-shirt company called Save the Mind. The reason why the brand's called Save the Mind is because I want to spread positive energy and try to delete closed-minded behavior through positive energy and education. My main thing that I want to do is make things affordable for everyone. I know Youngstown Warren is not a wealthy area and I want to be fair for everyone. And the best way to be fair is by looking at the individual situation. My main thing that I'm trying to do is sell my paintings for a decent amount. And then with that money, sometimes turn the paintings into a t-shirt or take that and possibly invest it into a different style. If someone doesn't have the money, I will try to get the painting and then put on a shirt and I can sell the shirt for maybe 25, 30 bucks. Okay. By doing that, then everyone has that opportunity. Pretty much make it more affordable so everyone and anyone in the Youngstown Warren area have the opportunity to enjoy something creative, something unique, something that they can't find everywhere else. You can find his t-shirts as well as some of his artwork here at Milov's Holistic Health and Beauty Boutique in Youngstown. Milov Eman is the owner. Basically everything in the store is all natural and organic, holistic products that you need in your everyday hygiene routine. And I also do like Afro Boho style clothing and stuff like that. So it's a really natural humble type artsy place in the city. You know, my purpose is to, you know, encourage the creations, you know what I mean? And I personally love Josh's art. It is totally different. It's way different. It's not your norm and like, you know, who likes normal stuff anyways? I'm very grateful for Me Love and her husband letting me use their shop to sell my products. I'm beyond grateful. I mean, some of this stuff took me forever to find a outlet of selling. It was always, it's always been a challenge to find someone who is 100 and what I mean is like they're honest. Find me on um, yeah. Facebook at Me Love Iman, M E E L U V H, or shop www.melove.com. Iman's work will also be on display at the art show as well as the works of four other local artists Lovey Jarman, Krista Franklin, KK Chips, and Shannon Fee. So this particular piece right behind me, this piece took me 54 hours to create. And it's pretty much a romantic piece. It's um, a piece that's focusing on a crumbling relationship, mm -hmm. lack of communication. I feel with any healthy relationship, it got to have communication to grow. It's not a man thing, it's not a woman thing, it's a couple thing. To actually have a healthy couple is all based off of communication. Now the shirt, is actually based off a um, piece of artwork that would it won second place in a art show in Youngstown. The piece of artwork on the shirt is focusing on the concept of mental health. But I feel like I was born on like a different planet. <laughs> so I love like the moons and the stars and like Afrocentric style art, alien. Just like whatever I'm feeling that day, honestly. You can find more of Ford's works on his Instagram and Facebook accounts. Normally with new t-shirt design or new design, normally I post it right away and they have the opportunity to individually message me and communicate on what they like about it. I feel people are so used to traditional art in the Youngstown Warren area and there's nothing wrong with the flower in the pot. Mm. There's truly nothing wrong with it, but the times are changed and art has more of a um, perp very much more purpose in this area. Mm -hmm. And I feel the purpose that it has now no longer is to entertain but to communicate. Okay. 
So we need to stop being obsessed over classic styles and be more open-minded to more of aggressive approaches to communication. Definitely come out, like support activities in Youngstown. Everybody complains that there's nothing to do. And especially the arts world, like we're kind of underground, the artists and stuff like that. So this is an opportunity for all the artists to come out and support the other artists in the city and just, you know, have a great time. Art is life. It's going to be mind blowing. It's going to be something unique and different. It's not going to be like something that they have ever seen before. Now here's the rest of your weekend rundown. Jazz pianist and vocalist Kate Reed will perform Friday at the Dior Performing Arts Center as part of the Donald P. Pupino Performing Arts Series. The show will take place in the Ford Family Recital Hall at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are $28 for adults, $22 for seniors, and free for YSU students, faculty, and staff. Get yours by visiting DiorPack.org. This Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., head to the Mill Creek Metro Parks Farm in Canfield for their annual Farm Animal Baby Shower. Welcome the new arrivals to the barns and see who might still be expecting this season. Admission is free. Check out the Big Labruski Festival this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. at Birdfish Brewing Company's Download Production Facility. Birdfish will be serving up the Dude White Russian Imperial Stout. Come dressed as a character from the Big Lebowski movie and win a variety of door prizes. There will also be plenty of events and live music happening at their up top location as well. To find out more, visit the event Facebook page. Swizzle Stick Day returns this Sunday from noon to 4 p.m. at Daffin's Chocolate Factory in Farrell, PA. Visitors get a factory tour and a free sample as well as a swizzle stick for the kids. Visit daffins.com for more details. For this week's After Hours Report, I'm Maggie Young. The After Hours Report is brought to you by Live Nation.